it's Chris. And I think I might have overdid it a little bit. I thought Sue said she wanted a Ryobi coffee maker, but it turns out she just wanted a cup of coffee. But anyway, this is what I did. I hope you enjoy it. The day is looking new and bright And you're gonna start it right I originally started out with just this hot water heater mug that runs on 12 to 24 volts and I made an adapter for my Ryobi battery that has just a cigarette light socket. The cup seemed a little tippy so I thought I would make something to hold it. My next step was to design this little holder. It has feet on the bottom, has a place to put the battery, and has a slot that you can put the heater for the cup in and then you can plug it into the cigarette light socket here. This seemed to work pretty well and I also put a, a space to put adapters in over here. So I was pretty happy with this. Soon I went down to visit my mom and she gave me my grandfather's old Melita ceramic coffee filter. That gave me an idea so I reverse engineered it and made one. But then I thought, why not make an adapter for the Ryobi so you could put different size cups in here and use the Melita number two coffee filters. Then it dawned on me that I always make a mess. So I made a little tray that also goes into the adapter. So if I spill anything, I can take it out and wash it off. So this comes off and then the tray comes apart. One of my viewers pointed out that Makita has a coffee maker, but Ryobi doesn't. But this one only generates uh, five ounces of, of cup of coffee, and people are saying it takes quite a bit of time to brew. This is the mug that's available on Amazon. I picked the lime green one because it was closest to the Ryobi colors. It specifically says here that it's 12 to 24 volts heating voltage. To test this, I'm going to hook it up the, to the Ryobi 18 volt battery and see how long it takes to heat different amounts of water up. The coffee mug is taking a lot more power than I thought it would. Looks like it's at 18 volts, it's taking about 150 watts. Okay, after 19 minutes, it's up to 186 degrees Fahrenheit. I overfilled it, it looks like. So after doing a 8 ounce cup and then a 15 ounce cup, it's down to two bars. Here are the test results for heating water with the 18 volt battery. I did it both for 8 ounce cup and for uh, the full container of 450 milliliters. The 8 inch, 8 ounce cup took 10 minutes and the 450 milliliters took 21 minutes to heat. Here's a model that I made. It's two parts. It allows you to connect to a uh, Ryobi battery and it uh, uses a standard Ryobi clip and you can put uh, different sockets in here. In this case I'm just going to put a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket in here although that uh, it's actually going to run up to the 21 volts that the battery will go to. I have a, another movie that I did that I'll put a link above to. Here's my first prototype. Taking the support off. Here's the socket cover. I've got my 12 volt socket and I've put some uh, male, uh, female connectors on here and I've bent them just enough that there's some tension on the wires. I just make sure I have the plus and minus set up correctly. And I'm just going to solder those on with my Ryobi soldering iron. I'm going to also solder the socket to the connector just so it doesn't pull out. So it's 
some glue in here. Then I have my cover here, I can just snap that on. Glued and clamped. Print the adapter bar. Print the filter. Well, another really long print here. It seems like it came out all right. And I still had just a little material left, thank goodness. Taking the support material off. Yeah, pretty nice. Printed the drip tray. Finally some signage. Well, it's finally time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Put in our Makita filter and two scoops of coffee. Okay, the water is boiled. So I'm gonna just pour it in carefully. I printed everything in PETG, which is food safe and high temperature. I'll put all the 3D print models on the Prusa and Thingiverse websites. And you have to make sure you unplug this. There's no thermostat on it. You can't run it without water in it. Ah, the smell. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.